Well, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we have this Lego lamb. I don't know where this is from. Um, so we're going to find out together, I guess. So hopefully you're having a wonderful day and you can't see my address. Um, oh, I know where this is from. So it's just hilarious because all I had to do was open it to figure out where it was from. So give me a second to get the information for you. All right. So that was just a blink for you. That was like 10 minutes for me. So I got word that there was a store on AliExpress that does poured glue. Poured glue. You know I had to try it out for you guys to make sure that this was a reliable source and that they were speaking the truth. Not that I don't trust people, but I do have trust issues. So I ordered not one, but two kits Two adorable little kits from this store. So we are going to crack into them. And if you don't know what the name of the store is, it's called Bonnabelle, which of course I love the store name because that's like a Southern thing. That's Bonnabelle. So let's crack into this. They wrapped it up really good. And it's poured glue. So if it's poured glue, you're going to see a clear cover so that tells me right there this is a pour glue kit poured glue now is this just one of them or is it both of them because it's i'm seeing two. Oh, and look i got a little uh captain america uh keychain and a little card yike yikla dear customers congratulations on becoming a our vip customer what vip service discount and price in a lifetime warranty five star comment with your picture with your will five star comment with picture will get vip discount and gift on your next order contact us for details i will definitely order from them again they have poured glue and you get this adorable little keychain so what did i get one let's get rid of that we're gonna get rid of that all right so we have tool tool kits you get two you get a pink pen with a three placer a pair of cheapo tweezers a plate of wax some baggies and white boats. Y'all don't care about that. We have our uh, we have our our drills. Now, I apparently got both of these in a square. Uh, when was this ordered? So I placed this order January fifth, and I received it January twenty seventh. So what was that? Twelve days. Cool. Nice, nice customer service there. Um, it looks like they're taped. So we're going to pull the tape off. And stick that to the table there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so foam roller. They are both pour glue. For those folks that are wondering why pour glue is such a huge thing, it's because pour glue, you're not going to have as many issues with like, you're not going to have issues with bubbles and rivers. It's not impossible, but it's very rare. So here we have it. We have the sleepy fox here. He is a 30 by 40. And then we have the woodland fox here. And the store is called Bonnabelle. And of course I will link this, or I will link these two canvases down below. But the, I guess the company name is Yikla. Um, I want to measure them to see if they're to size. So let's pull out our he Hello Kitty measuring tape. So first, let's see if they're to size. We're going glue to glue because we're not drilling the canvas. So, oh, is it? That's not the right side, is it? Yeah, it is. All right, so it should be 20 here. So right on that line to this line here. We're a Nick away from 20. So 20 is here where the legend is. So it's not quite 20. It was supposed to be 20 by 25. And it's about the same amount away from uh, 25. So it's not true to size, not that one. Let's try this other one. So this one's supposed to be a 30 by 40. So let's get that over there. Zero to 30. Almost 30, not quite 40. So they are not true to size. So uh, 
30 by 40 is not the true size of this one. 20 by 25 is not the true size of that one. That's okay. They have poured glue, folks. All right, so let's take a look at the drills. They're just falling out of there. So the canvas does come with a legend on the side, on one side. Uh, the legend is a decent size. You can read it. Um, we're going for this 20 by 25 first. Let's take a look at the drill quality. See if we see any knobbly bits or dimples. Not seeing any in that color. Not seeing anything out of the ordinary in that bag. Let's go for a darker color. I see a dimple. See a little bit of a knob right there. See a little bit of a chewed off piece right there. It's always the darker colors that you're going to want to look at, and that'll tell you whether or not it's good drill quality if you see those knobbly bits or dimples, because I know a lot of people are big into not liking those dimples. I have dimples, but then again, people don't like me either, so you know. All right. So they have the dimples. I've seen one little knobbly bit in the brown bag. Oh, nope, there's another one right there. You see it? And hopefully they give you extra so that you don't have to worry about uh, you don't have to worry about running out of drills. I'm just gonna take a look at these. I do like the bags that they're in. They seem a little bit more sturdy than the normal bag. Let's get our pen here. Let's do some inventory. So we're gonna do this like a boss. When I come back, I'll let you know if I have all the drills. This one is for the 20 by 25 the uh, Woodland Fox, which is what I'm calling him. So let's go ahead and do some like a boss inventory. And when I come back, I'll let you know if I have them all. You ready? Go. All right, so it does have all of its drills for the Woodland for, uh, Fox. So let's get down and see if we can see these symbols good. Let's see what the symbol quality is like. So let's make sure you're in focus. So we have these little triangle looking symbols. They look to be really good clear symbols. Um, you might see some shadowing or what looks like shadowing because it's not, uh, that and I'm close to it. So if it looks fuzzy, it could be because of that, but the symbol clarity does look really clear. Uh, like here you can make out that that's two triangles on top of each other, a little lowercase a, a pound symbol or a hashtag. Uh, you have an regular arrow here and then you have a double arrow here. You have a letter a or a TP or a top of a pencil uh, you have the domino one, you have the greater than symbol. So you can make out all the symbols on the kit. So you also have this weird like circle with the plus sign and the wrap around and then the half triangles. So the symbol clarity looks like it's pretty good. So let me do some movie magic and get rid of this first kit. All right, now for the second kit. Let's look at the symbol clarity. Symbol clarity looks to be there. We have some lowercase n's. This upside, it's like a V with a circle or a dot in it. We have a Y, this rectangle with line through it. Uh, let's move around to some of these darker areas. Now this might give me a little bit of issue just because it's dark, but I obviously know it's gonna be the upside down U. We have some diamonds, some half circles filled in. Uh, What's getting me right now is, is that the only half? Because we have some half circles, but this looks like it has an arrow in it. I'm not seeing that symbol. Oh, yes I am. All right, so you're gonna have to be careful with this kit. Okay, so right here, you see a circle with what looks like an arrow. And then here you see a half filled in circle. 
those two are different colors. The one with the arrow is 791, and then you have 796, which is the half circle. So you got to be very careful when completing a kit like this one, or just watch your, your uh, symbols on the kit if you decide to buy from this store, because those symbols, I can guarantee you, are going to trip me up. Um, let's see. I'm going to move down here. We have some half orange slices here. We have some more of those double arrow things. We have the Star Trek symbol or something, cross or T, a U-turn. See, these symbols don't look like they're going to be as bad. And again, if you're seeing that there, that's just because of the plastic being raised up right there. But they are double-sided adhesive, so that's a plus. So I, don't, I know that I can put these away for however long I want to and come back and they will look just as good. Is it tacky? It's tacky. Just move that down. I'm trying to get some of these bubbles out of it. A little hard to get up right there. There we go. Flatten it out a little bit. It is a very adorable little kit. And the plastic just lays down real nice just like that. Sorry, I hate those little bubbles that form when you try to put the plastic down. Alright, so. Oh my god, okay, all right, all right. And you can also take a ruler and smooth that out and that'll also get those bubbles out. They, they won't affect anything, it's poured glue. So let's take a look at its drills. These drills are packaged a little nicer than the other ones. There is a loose bead in there, so we'll have to look out for that. So let's look at the drill quality. What is this? This is number 900. If you're ever wondering, whenever you're looking at diamonds and you get them in like this and you're like, okay, obviously it's not going to be 006. It's going to be 900. This extra piece that you would cut off right here is always going to be pointing towards the left. So whenever you go to uh, look at these and if you can't tell which way is which or what number it is, it always points to the left, folks. So, to the left, to the left, everything you know is in the... Okay, yeah, we're not going to do that. Let me stop before I get copyright. All right, so bag 900. Sorry, you have to look at my gross nails. I haven't done them yet. So we'll move it up a little bit so you don't have to. Just look at my old-looking fingers. All right, so... Those look really good. Let's go for a dark color. There's 939. I see a couple of drills that might give issue. So again, we're going to hope we're going to hope that they send us enough drills that we don't have to worry about it, but we all know how that goes. Um so we're going to do inventory like a boss real quick. The last kit had 26 colors. This one has 30. It's just a little fox. Okay, here's what the image looks like. It's a little fox at nighttime. So we're going to call that this one Sleepy Fox. So we're going to do inventory like a boss. And when I come back, I'll let you know if I have it. I'll show you both canvases again. And we'll go over some final thoughts. You ready? Go.
All right. So, all the drills are there. Good God, you guys. Look at that color. Look at that color. Oh, my God. So, as you saw, I did have a bag of busted drills. It's a bag of 939. But they sent me 39 bags, and this was actually bag number 40. So, since it's open, let's take a look. I see, where's my little pen? I see a tab on one. There was one that looked really bad. There's a tab on this one here. Uh, there's some trash. There's a little tab on that one there. These ones look different sizes here. You see how that one looks bigger than these two? That will also make them pop. Here's a knobbly bit there. Knobbly bit on that one. So you have a couple of misshapen, a couple of knobbly bits. Um, but whether it'll pop or not, that's up to the canvas. I won't know until I start putting drills down on it, which of course, you know, I can't get to these right away. So this one's going to have to be put in queue at some point. Um, but as of right now, oh, I still have a round drill on me. For right now, I'd say the drill quality is a little iffy because some bags look really good and some bags don't. And what I'm going to do is when this happens, where you get a bag of busted drills, what I do as I take one of the bags that they send, oh, they, they also send you a straightener, a nine placer straightener, which is that long one right there. That's pretty cool, I missed that when I was doing it. So I'm gonna take one of these bags and pour the 939 into. So I'm gonna need to write 939 on the bag. So I'm gonna get one of my Arteza markers that just happens to be sitting up over here. Okay, nine. 39, which obviously you can see is not a marker for plastic bags, but that's okay. And I'm just going to take and snap my fingers on it there to open it up. And you can also put the 939 bag in there if that, you know, doesn't work too. Just so you know what color this is. Because when I store my canvases the canvases actually get hung up on a pant hanger or if they're in a box they get hung they get stacked in a box in the closet pant hanger goes in the closet uh with the clothes to kind of flatten it to keep them flat but overall let me okay let me do some movie magic and clean this up and i'll be right back you ready all right now that we got all that taken care of um, so yes, so Bonnabel store on AliExpress does have poor glue canvases. Drill quality, it's iffy. Um, just from what I've seen out of the bag of 939s, you may encounter some popping drills. Um, I would suggest if you, uh, get popping drills, obviously you're going to want to contact the store. Let them know that you got popping drills. They, of course, will be willing to send some out to you. But if you don't want to wait, uh, there is a couple of stores on Etsy that sell diamonds, like uh, drills, diamond, diamond drills USA. And I think one is called Sticks to Stones or something um, that will also offer replacement drills if you need them. Um, but it's not the canvas itself that makes the drills pop. It's the fact that they're different sizes and have the knobbly bits on them. So be weary when you're looking at your diamonds uh, for your diamond paintings. Look at the darker colors. The lighter colors, I, I notice, don't seem to have as many problems as the darker colors do. So look at the darker colors and that will tell you if the drills are different sizes, if the drills are covered in co or concave, uh, if you don't like the dimples and they have the dimples in them, or if you have the knobbly bits. Me personally, I don't deal, I don't, I don't, care about the, the dimple in the drills because it's never really affected any canvas that I've ever done. Um, I And I have done canvases where I've put the, the drill on the canvas and with the dimple in it and it hasn't come off. I have numerous paintings with dimples in the drills and they haven't come off, but I know a lot of people don't like the dimple in the drills. 
Uh, the knobbly bits, I usually don't use those on the canvases just because I know they'll, they'll make it pop. And then if the drills are misshapen or not the same size, I also try to avoid those if possible because if not, you can create more gapping in your paintings, which is where the gapping comes from. The gapping comes from the fact that your drills are different sizes and essentially they're hard to tell that they're different sizes because they are so small. Um, and especially with squares, they're 2.5 millimeters, whereas rounds are 2.8 as we know. But yes, so yes, there is a store on AliExpress that uses poured glue. So if you would like to check them out, I will link them down in the description box below of this video. So just click that arrow to see all those links pop up for you. But with that said, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave those down into the comment section below. But if not, that's it for me, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Aren't they adorable? They're so cute. I love them. I'm happy with this purchase. Uh, just from first sight, I think they're actually a pretty decent store. Again, if the drills do pop, I know I can get replacement drills or contact the store and ask them for replacement drills. Um, more likely, I would probably just get them from uh, Drills USA because that's where I go to get my replacement drills. And why deal with the company and taking however long to send out the drills when I can just purchase them myself? Yes, not everybody can just go out and purchase extra drills. And I noticed on this kit, there's something right here like a piece of dirt or something right here. And it's poured glue, so if I see something on there that doesn't belong, I can just snap it off. It looks like a piece of cardboard. And it's, for those wondering if it's tacky, it's definitely tacky. All right, so I got that off. No worries, boom. So if you would like to try out the Bonnebel store or the Yikla store, um, again, I will have it linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, don't forget to leave those down in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel and want to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. For those folks watching on double speed, did you get any of that? <laughs> I know a lot of people watch videos on double speed and so they say I talk too fast sometimes. So, yeah. <laughs> but with that said, folks, I'm now going to have to you would do. But not before I remind you, like I always try to. Be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye guys. <laughs>